Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this coffee talk, which is on Tuesday. <laughs> Forgot what day it was. Uh, yes, it is Tuesday, and uh, we are going to be talking about something I think that's really important today, and that is how to keep your head up when things don't go as planned. Um, so we'll talk about that here today, but I did want to welcome you. We are coming to you live from the lake house. And um, today I'm not going to be probably spending much time outside. It's kind of rainy here, but uh, you know what they say, any day at the lake is a good day at the lake. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to see who's checking in here. We got Jennifer. Good morning, everyone. Beautiful day here in New Mexico. What's up? Karen is here. Good morning. Good to see you, Karen, as usual. Lydia, good morning. Good to see you as well. Uh, yeah, so guys, if you're tuning in, this is going to be our coffee talk on the topic of really how to really keep your head up, like when things are not are not going well or when things don't go as planned. Um, and I wrote the title here today to to really talk about. We got a little, we got a little dog thing going on here. <laughs> Hold on, Brody, you can't come up, bud. You can't, you can't come up, bud. Go on out there. Go on. Oh, Brody, Brody and Maisie, they are uh, trying to fight for my attention. Uh, they, you, you can't have it, Brody. You can't have the attention right now. <laughs> I think he might be hiding from Maisie too because she's uh, trying to get him. Uh, <laughs> so yes, this is live, guys. Uh, let's see here. Oh, flooding in Michigan. That sounds, that sounds terrible. Uh, Maurice, Marisa, Maurice, uh, from Romania. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Deborah says, good morning, sunny day. Kate, what's up? Good morning to you as well. Justin morning, morning. How are things going there in Australia? Hopefully all is well. Uh, all right, cool. So as usual, let me just kind of throw it out there. Uh, if you guys are tuning in for the first time, welcome. Glad to have you. Uh, do me a favor for anyone that is showing up that has been here before. Do me a favor, and you probably know what I'm going to say. Uh, I am relying on you to spread the word about these coffee talks because I want more people like us to hang out and share, uh, you know, what is working, what's not working, and also really how to get through these tough times, right? Like right now we are going through some difficult times. I say we, us as a country or as the world, right? This is global. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening in the world. There are a lot of, uh, you know, un, unstable, you know, uh, businesses, there's unstable times, anything that we're doing, there's nothing guaranteed, right? It's funny, we were, um, my wife and I were just literally sitting down and um, we uh, were in contact with a news channel that might want to do a piece on um, on myself helping people uh, be able to, you know, get out of their own way, but also kind of let this take, you know, this terrible time and turn it into something positive. And um, so we were kind of going through like, what would be a good topic? What would be a good title? And, and maybe I'll even share that with you guys maybe tomorrow or the next day. And you guys can give me your, your thoughts on that. Um, because in reality right now, like it's hard to keep your head up, right? If you have a business and it's taken a hit, might be hard to keep your head up. If you are maybe experiencing a layoff, you got to keep your head up, right? It's a tough time. Uh, if you, let's say that you have a job and you... Um, you're not sure if you're going to have the job, or maybe you took a cut in pay. Actually, my pool company, their their uh, maintenance people there that come in and do the pool cleaning and stuff, they all took a, a cut in pay just to keep their job, right? So I look at this as yes, these are uncertain times, they're unstable times, but it also could be that moment, that take action moment, as I've said in my book, the take action effect. It could be that moment that you didn't really want this to happen, but you're so grateful that it did. And maybe you're not grateful right now, but you will be, right? Because this here woke you up. This here is that thing that says, okay, I need to keep moving forward. I need to figure this thing out. This is a reset for me, 
right? So going on a little bit of a, of a uh, rant there, but uh, it's kind of fresh in my mind because my wife and I were going over the topic that I might be uh, sharing uh, locally here. Um, so my biggest thing is, is right now it is hard for a lot of people. Uh, and I feel for those people, but I also feel like if we have the right knowledge, if we have the right people around us, uh, because you don't know what you don't know, right? Like if you don't know that you can actually build a business around your passion or your hobby or something that you're interested in, if you don't know that, how the heck would you be able to start it? Right? So a great example of this, by the way, tomorrow's interview, you're going to want to go to the podcast tomorrow. Okay. The rock your brand podcast guys. Yes, it is rock your brand podcast. And I am loving the new format. This is going to be an interview. You're going to want to watch. You're going to want to listen. And here's why there's a guy that I interviewed. His name is Colin Costello and he has built a really great company but he was a teacher years ago and he knew that that wasn't what he wanted to do for the rest of his life but he wasn't sure what he wanted to do now over the past i believe it's now nine or ten years uh, he's built a really great company and it's also opened up a lot of doors so the interview will really allow you to see that, you know what, that change that happened to him, that one change, even though it was hard, even though he wasn't sure what to do, even though he had a product that failed big, like I'm talking like he created his first product. It was a digital product. He sold only like $7 worth, something like that. Right. But then how did he pick himself up? How did he get his head back in the game? Right. How did he, how did he push through that? Uh, well, I'm going to share all of that on that interview. All right. But today, what I want to talk about is how do you do it right now? How do you how do you pick your head up when when right now you're feeling like, man, that was a blow. I just took a big hit. Right. My business took a hit or I lost my job or, you know, whatever. You know, you have a rental property and you can't rent it or an Airbnb or whatever. Right. I mean, I am so fortunate about this place, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't know what to expect during this, but I am so fortunate and so grateful because this place is booked, guys. I can't even get in here myself until September, right? So that is good news. But I, again, I wasn't sure that that was going to happen, but I'm very grateful. But you could be in a situation where you have a rental property that you can't rent right now, or you, you know, whatever it is, right? How do you keep your head in the game? How do you keep positive when there's bad things happening, right? So do you guys have any tips of your own? I want to know, drop it in the comments. I want you guys to let me know if you're having one of those days, if you're having one of those situations, how do you get this thing up here to say, you know what? This is meant to be. I need to push through. This is something that I'm going to learn from. How do you push through? So if you guys could do that for me, that would be awesome. Uh, okay. I'm going to take a sip of coffee here. And you guys are actually sitting in one of our this is like a sitting room um, at the lake house right now. So you guys are sitting here with me at the lake and we're just, we're chilling. We're having morning coffee or tea or a juice, whatever you want. We'll make whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, so let, let me know guys in the comments. I would love to know what that is. Okay. Um, and I'll let you know, you know, what mine is and it's not always easy. Okay. It's not always easy, but the one thing I would say 100% is who are you surrounding yourself with? You've heard me say it before guys, but I'm going to say it again. If you're hanging around with people or you're associating yourself with people that are not going to be your cheerleading crew, you need to find one. Okay. Here at the take action morning show, this, uh, this coffee talk, that's what this is for, right? This is just my way of showing up for you. And if you want it, you can come here. If you don't, you don't have to, but I wanna make that available for you and for free, by the way. Like I'm not charging anything for you to be hanging out here today, right? Now, are there things that you could buy from me in the future? Absolutely. But right now, that's not my motive. My motive is to help you in any way that I can. And I want you to spread the word, right? So 
to get your head in the game, if you don't have people in your life that are that are your support network, then I want you to make sure you're here because we are your support group. Okay. And yes, this is, you know, random stuff that we talk about, but you know what? It's positive energy. Okay. Positive energy. Now I'm not saying we're not going to have bad days. I'm not saying that I'm never going to have a bad day. Okay. They're going to happen. But how do you get out of the funk? How do you keep yourself driving forward? One of the ways is you have to know your why. Right? Why the heck are you doing what you're doing? Again, we talked about this on a past coffee talk. If you missed that, you're going to want to go and check that out. I will go ahead and put it right here, right here, somewhere in here on YouTube. All right. So I will put it there once this is done being recorded or it gets on the replay. I'll put it in the description as well. So yeah, I want you guys to understand it's normal, but why not get yourself out of your own funk, right? You need to be your own voice too, right? We have, what, what's the saying? I, I think this was from John Gordon, which by the way, I'm interviewing him today. I'm actually heading home. As soon as we get done here, I'm heading home to my office because that's where all my setup is, my main setup. And I'm going to be doing a recording with John Gordon, the guy that wrote The Carpenter, The Energy Bus, and a bunch of other books, The Positive Day, a whole bunch of great books. So I get to sit down with him today and ask some really good questions. And I can't wait to dig in. Um, but you need to learn how to cheer yourself on too. And so what did he say in that, in that book? One of the things was, and I believe it was, uh, gosh, it was from like a, a wise man was once asked by someone like, you know, I don't ever think that I'm ever, you know, I, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to achieve what I want to achieve or something. Like I have these two voices in my head. One is always telling me like, I can't do it. The other one's telling me I can, but I'm always hearing the one that can't. And he goes, well, you know, if you have an angry dog or I think it was an angry dog. And if you have a positive dog, if you feed the positive dog, the positive dog's going to win the fight every single time. Right. So we have to understand that a lot of it is our own self. And it's, it's what do we feed this? What do we feed our brain? What do we feed our mind on a daily basis? What are we seeing? What are we not seeing? Right. If you're seeing a lot of negativity, you might want to turn that stuff off and start feeding a little bit more positivity. Right. And that could be just showing up here. That could be maybe reading some affirmations. Maybe it is reading something that makes you smile. Maybe it's something that makes you laugh, putting you in a different state. OK, because we can control up here now to have yourself surround yourself with, with more positive people. That's a given for me. Given. You have to do that. And it's not going to be easy all the time because sometimes you have a lot of negative people around you. I get it. OK, those people, either they're going to conform to my way of thinking or I'm just going to not spend as much time with them. It's that simple. It's not worth it for me to bring that into my family, bring that into the people that I surround myself with or myself with. So just always keep that in mind, right? So my little pep talk for you here today is you need to be the one. You do, okay? You can't rely on someone all the time. I can sit here and get you all fired up, but you got to carry that out, okay? And you got to carry it out. You got to live it. You got to breathe it. You got to want it. You got to know it. All of that, okay? If you don't, if you don't believe it yourself, then how the heck are you going to convince yourself that you want this, right? I talked about that the other day right? You got to sell yourself before you can sell someone else. If you don't believe it, no one's going to believe it, right? So you got to believe it. And to get yourself through whatever tough time you're, you're, you're having, you need to get your head back in the game. It's like you were, it's like you got 12 rounds in the boxing, in the boxing match, right? You don't go out there the first round and get punched in the face and you get knocked down. You might even fall down and you're like, go in the corner and you're like, I'm done. I don't want to go back out there. I can't. You're not a fighter then. Why'd you get in the ring in the first place? Right? So understand there's more than one round, guys. And you got to be able to get your mindset right. All right? Feed it. Feed your mind with positive energy, positive thoughts. And it's not woo-woo, guys. I'm not talking woo-woo stuff here. I'm talking like it's if you work that muscle over and over and over again, it's going to wean out the negativity and add more of the positivity. All right. So instead of saying if, say when, right? When, not if, when. All right. That's what I would do. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We got a lot of comments flowing in here. Some big comments too. 
Oh, wow. This is cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, what's up, Mike? Mike in the house. Mike Smiley. Uh, oh, Karen, that's nice. Thank you. Talking about the coffee talk and how much you're helping us. Thank you. Uh, what's up, Derek? Derek's in the house. Jose's in the house. Troy's in the house. What is up? What is up, my friends? Uh, let's see. Kate says, uh, this gift of time is such a great opportunity. Wow. Yeah, it is. It is. a. You know what? As bad as things seem sometimes, it's actually probably a blessing in disguise, right? So we need to just acknowledge that. Let's see. I live by life happens for me, not to me. Yes. I like that, Salama. Derek, it's a wake up call for a lot, a lot of people, but internet marketers are scamming people to take advantage of this coronavirus. Yeah, Derek, you've said this numerous times. I can tell you're a little burnt on that. It's okay though. Let it go, man. Let it go. Okay. Hanging on to that and being like pissed off about it isn't necessarily going to help you. It's not going to help anyone. Let them be, right? Like there's nothing you're going, the only thing you can do is focus on you, man. Like focus on you. Forget about that. That's negative stuff. Okay, just surround yourself with better people, right? And start getting those people out of your life. How do you do that? Unsubscribe from them, right? Just stop, you know, just stop paying attention to them, okay? It's just going to annoy you, you know, and that's going to be negative, not positive, all right? So let's do that, Derek. Tell me you're going to do that, please. All right, Rebecca, good morning, afternoon, Scott and coffee crew from sunny Germany. I love it when... Uh, Rebecca comes in from Germany and a lot of people. We had Romania today. We got Australia today. Salama, always reframe and look for blessings and opportunities in every crisis. This is true. Derek, what do you think of internet marketers targeting us during these? Yeah, all right, Derek, we just talked about that before. I, I don't like it and I don't think you should be focusing on it. I hate it, right? But I'm not going to focus on that. I'm focusing on about what we can do, right? Like I'm not going to go on this morning show and I'm not going to say, you know what I really hate is when all these internet marketers are trying to scam people and blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to be like, I'm going to try to be the voice of positivity, the voice of opportunity, right? And yes, I could briefly say, you know, there's people out there taking advantage of people. I want to be the person that gives you the light at the end of the tunnel. I want to be the, see what I'm saying? I'm reframing it, but I'm not focusing on that. It's not the main focus. All right. So again, just get rid of them, man. Just get rid of that noise. All right. John. Hey, John, what's up? I love brand creators. I'm working through the playbook. Can you share an example of what your Facebook ad looks like? I can't today, uh, but maybe we'll do that in, in the future, uh, but we could totally do that. And I think what you're talking about is running a giveaway, right? I'll, I'll give you an example. If you want an example of what a giveaway looks like, I'm glad you brought that up. If you go here, rockyourbrandpodcast.com, that was created Using the same model that I teach in the playbook, guys. Offer, email opt-in, thank you page, more ways to share to get more entries. And then from there, we're going to pick a winner. Build an email list of people that are targeted. Right there is a great example. All right. And that is also, we are running a Facebook ad to that now. It just turned on, I think, a couple of days ago. Um, so, yes, we can totally we can totally break that down at some point. Uh, but today we are talking about this and, uh, and then from there I got to roll cause I got an interview and I got about an hour drive. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kate, okay. I use a morning routine that starts my day off on the right path. Love that. I read the miracle morning by, uh, hell at Elrod. Yes. It's a great book and is amazing up early. Yes. Now, uh, Karen, I decided I am making a six month commitment to be consistent no matter what. So I'm putting my head down and moving forward. We had a, a, a lull, but things have picked back up again. Yes, the idea is consistent, 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 right? Like show up, show up. Don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about your statistics right now. Show up, show up, show up. That's how you get results, right? That's how you get results. Mike. I remind myself that this is not the first or the worst thing I've weathered, and that is two shall pass. You are right, my friend. Good, good bit of information there. Jennifer, uh, let's see here. Remember my uh, my why. Do one small thing that feels like I accomplished something. Uh, Going to meditation, uh, gratitude walk, then come back, put on some music, have some uh, a small treat, 
put on my blinders and go get it. Yes, Jennifer, absolutely right. And Jennifer, uh, I, I wanted to give you a quick shout out because I believe, as long, I mean, your name is Jennifer and it's Radcliffe here and uh, you use your middle name, I think, in the other one. But anyway, um, I wanted to thank you uh, for adding so much value to Brand Creators Academy the other day. I commented on that and I might even turn that into a video because it was so awesome. Uh, let's see, Rebecca, I listen to a positive mindset audio and remind myself of my why. Yes, good idea. Justin, surround myself with positive people. Yes, yes, that is a, that's a big one, by the way, big one. You wanna surround yourself with those positive people. All right, uh, Ashley, hey, Ashley, uh, did you tell your mom I said hi? Uh, <laughs> Uh, for me, this whole thing has killed my photography business. However, it has allowed me to pivot, which I think is a great opportunity. I eventually want a job that creates passive income, which I think this is giving me the time to work on that now. So I'm very thankful for that. To stay out of the funk, I chat with other business owners and we keep positive and think how this is allowing us to make changes we needed to make anyway. Yes, a lot of times this is that wake up call. A lot of times it's the shift, right? Right. I'll give you an example of uh, something that we did years ago. So my daughter, Kayla, is 12. When we found out we were pregnant with her, we still were running our full-time photography business, by the way. And so at that time, we knew that it was going to be really hard having a you know brand new baby, having our photography studio, and we've been doing it a while. So we were like, how do we... How do we how do we fix this? How do we create a passive income stream somewhere that we could do less sessions, you know, less appointments? And so uh, we ended up doing online training. That's where I got into the digital online world and uh, and built my first email list and then did my first launch and all of that stuff. So if I hadn't had that situation of having my daughter, right, we wouldn't have rethought maybe the photography business at that time, right? So and that wasn't a bad situation, but it was a situation. So all I'm trying to say is like when when life deals us a set of cards, we got to play them. We got to deal or we got to decide to get some new cards or we got to you know make a new move. Right. So sometimes it's those things in our life that push us to do something that we've been wanting to do anyway. Right. So and I think a lot of times this uh, coronavirus is that uh, Derek. There is this internet marketer, I will not say a name, but has a local marketing agent that he's providing training and says it's $4.97 to get in and $97 a month. Has the website still in development. He got from one thing to another and feel like he's just winging it. What do you think about this? I don't think anything about it, Derek. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but again, I what I guess my, my question to you is like, what what's the reason for even thinking about this? You're not going to do it. Right, you're not going to join the four ninety seven and ninety seven dollars a month, are you? And if you are, then that's your question to kind of validate him, right? So I don't know the person. I don't know. I mean, if the person is legit and they're charging four ninety seven for training and ninety seven a month, and it's and it's training that's going to help you advance, then I'm okay with it. But if they're a you know a, a, a sleazy marketer, then no, right? So I can't really make a, a call on that. But again, it just seems like. You're uh, you're jaded a little bit, and I get it. I totally get it, Derek. I mean, there's a lot of shady stuff going on out there. But I want to shift your focus, man. I want to shift your focus on positive. Like, find if that's not serving you, then discard it, get rid of it. All right. And again, it's tough love, brother. Like, I, I'm I'm not here to make everything sound like you know unicorns and rainbows, right? Like, it's like we we got to be real. And the real thing is, it seems like you're you're focusing on that. We got to get you off of focusing on that, focus on this. All right. So that's my goal for you. Mike, another exercise I do is to ask myself, what positive benefit am I overlooking about this situation and how can I use it to grow? That's a good one, Mike. I like that. Uh, let's see. Next comment here. Oops. Uh, let's see. Showing up here is one of my main ways to get uh, to set the stage for the day. I love learning from you and other action takers here. Thank you, Mike. That does mean a lot, by the way. It does mean a lot. Uh, okay, change your uh, habitual thoughts, perspective, and change your life. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Debbie, positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I love this talk, Jennifer says. 
I love this talk too, as you can tell. I'm fired up. Uh, I got to get my head in the game. Hey, has anybody here watched High School Musical, by the way? You got to get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Right? You guys ever see that? I've watched it like a hundred times because I've got kids, and it's actually a pretty good, a pretty good musical. Anybody watch that? Uh, the internet marketers know what they want. They want our money. Yes, but don't give it to them. It's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rebecca, so true. I believe that the tougher or, or downtimes are learnings we should reflect on. Yes. Look at what does this allow me to do? What does this allow me to do? Think about that, right? Uh, okay, I got it. Let it go. Good, Derek. Come on. Let's let that go, man. I want you to focus on you, man. I want you to focus on you getting your own results. Don't worry about that. If it doesn't serve you, get rid of it. If it serves you, keep it. And you know, if that person's not feeling right in your gut, get rid. Just get rid of it, okay? Negative, gone. You feed the pot or you feed the negative dog, the angry dog, right? It's going to beat the positive dog. We want the positive dog to win, all right? <laughs> Yes, I will do that. Stop focusing on these people. Please, Derek, please do that, okay? Voice of opportunity, great t-shirt slogan. Ooh, I love that. Make a note of that out in the kitchen. Voice of opportunity. I like it. Justin, note that Justin from Australia had sent that one in. If we make the shirt, we'll send him a free one. All right, we got another shirt idea. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> uh, yes, I was looking for using Facebook ad for a giveaway. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, totally. And uh, there are some examples in the book, but uh, we do a lot more Brand Creators Academy. We're not open right now, but we could totally do something on here uh, to kind of look at those as well. I will start my day and stay consistent and stay focused. Good, Derek. And you just said it here, so you better do that. All right, we're going to hold you to it. I've been using your Rock Your Brand giveaway as a template. Smiley face, John. All right, cool. Hey, I eat my own dog food, right? I eat my own food. My own, I drink my own Kool-Aid, right? Like if I'm going to say it, I'm going to use it. Um, how do you stay positive with children and spouse? Do you have any routines around it? Well, I've, I've got a good family. I mean, also, I think it starts with... You know, my kids are very respectful um, to others. And actually, my daughter, uh, Kayla... Uh, just yesterday was awarded a um, a very cool little uh, thing for next year, uh, which is basically like a leader role um, in school. It's uh, uh, what's the name of it again, please? Oh, it's a web program. So basically, it's like they elect uh, a few leaders in each class. And then usually you have to be in eighth grade. She's going in seventh grade. So they actually uh, recommended her. And because obviously we're in this whole quarantine thing, uh, the teachers FaceTimed her and and uh, and congratulated her on this, uh, you know, on this award. Yeah, they were actually at our house uh, because they were supposed to go there and then just do it from the road or whatever. And but we were here at the lake house. So they went ahead and did it there. Um, but I, I have. You know, kids that obviously they respect myself and my wife. That's very important to us. And they respect others. And then they carry that on with that, with whatever they're touching in life. So how do I stay positive? Um, it's throughout my, it's throughout my family, right? It's, there's no other way, right? If I hit start hearing negative, I want to start hearing positive, right? So we're not going to hear ifs, ifs, ifs. We're not going to start going down the, if this happens, if that happens, and if it does, I'll be the first one or my wife will be the first one to say, listen, that's something you're thinking might happen. There's a hundred stories you're telling yourself that may never happen. You need to watch it, look at it, let it go. It comes back, you look at it, you let it go. And that's a, uh, that's a headspace trick, by the way, in, um, in, the, in the app Headspace, which I love, is he talks about dealing with stress or, or anxiety. You can, it's fine to watch it. There it is. And now let it go. And then you're back, right? It's okay to acknowledge it, but you got to let it go because it's a story of a what if, right? So what do I do? I talk about this stuff with my family. I talk about it with my kids. I talk about it with my wife. It's just part of our life, right? So it's hard if you don't have a supportive husband, wife, friend, whatever, 
Um, but hopefully if you sit down and have a conversation, you can start to really make that part of who you are. It needs to be who you are. And then that will start to resonate with others and you'll start attracting those others. And maybe you'll be the leader in your family or your friends, right? Be the leader of positivity. Why not? Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Jennifer says, my pleasure. Thanks. I uh, got, got, uh, setting the generous uh, sharing culture in the group. Yeah, it's a great group, man. I got to, uh, man, I am so proud of that group. Uh, just awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, I have a question. Can you help me grow? How did you make it to 28,000? It's not easy. And it's actually still hard because I'm still trying. And it just YouTube is a whole nother animal. And I'm trying to, you know, dabble. But uh, what I would say is show up consistently. That's it. Show up consistently and serve your market with things that you think that they need and then let them tell you what they need and then give it to them. It's being consistent. My good friend, Jesse over on still it just, uh, or chase the craft. Um, he basically did a 52 week challenge for himself. He did one video a week for the first year and he gained 15,000 subscribers in that process, but he showed up every single week. So consistency is how you do it. Troy, what's up, my man? When times get me depressed, I visualize people seeing me without a shirt and realize that's the definition of depression. And Troy, of course, would say that because Troy is a comic. He's actually not a, a comic, but he could be. Uh, he's a comedian. Uh, let's see here. Ashley, you're up. Uh, what books can you recommend to keep or to help keep you positive? I didn't chat with my mom yesterday, but I will be chatting with her after this about your, her product photo. So I'll tell her you said hello. Yeah, do that. Uh, okay. So there's a lot of different books. I'm going to be interviewing uh, John Gordon today, actually at two o'clock, I believe. Uh, and I'm really excited about that. One book I think is really, really good is The Energy Bus. The Energy Bus. John Gordon. I've got it on Audible and I got it uh, as, a, uh, as a hardcover. It's a great book. Um, and the other one is the carpenter, right? So those are ones they're going to make you feel good and positive and make you rethink everything that you do. But it also allows you to see it, not just from like your own perspective, but from others. And once you get that, it's a game changer. So I recommend those two. I would start with energy bus and then I would start with the car or I would go to the carpenter next. Uh, let's see. Yes, Mike, our minds are like a jukebox. If you don't like the music, change it. Serve yourself a new tune. Oh, I love that. That's actually, that's actually a good quote. We should throw on an image. That's a good one. I like that. Our minds are like a jukebox. If you don't like the music, change it. Save yourself a new tune. I like that. Mike, I'm going to credit you that, man. That's a good one. Did you make that one up yourself, Mike? Because that's a good one. That is solid. It goes with Rock Your Brand uh, podcast, by the way. Um, that's awesome. That's great. Uh, when when did you say you're going to have a talk on Pinterest? I'm probably going to do that. Let me see here because I've got tomorrow uh, already mapped out. Tomorrow we're going to talk lead magnets, by the way, guys. How to create the best free offer to build your email list. So tomorrow we're going to talk lead mag magnets. That, that was your guys' uh, uh, recommendation. So that's what we're going to do. And maybe what we'll do is we'll do that the following day. We'll do some Pinterest stuff. I stay positive by practicing gratitude and being of service to others and practice forgiveness. Uh, yes, that's a big one. Forgiving. Uh, Justin, voice of opportunity. It's your trademark, Scott. You stated that and then I typed it. I <laughs> love it. Love it, Justin. Thank you, my man. Uh, I love the consistency. Uh, this is one of my biggest flaws. I get bored and or simply overwhelmed and forget that it's been weeks since I did a video or blog. That's why it's got to be routine, man. And you know it. You know it, Mike. You just said it yourself. It's one of your biggest flaws. Fix it, right? Fix it by being consistent. What are you going to commit to every single week? Every week, no matter what happens, right? I'm sitting here in my lake house an hour from home doing a coffee talk. I could have said, you know what? I'm not going to do those coffee talks when I'm at the lake house. I'm just not going to do it. But you know what? I decided I am doing this every single day because I want to show up. And I can't say that I gave it 100% of my effort if I take a day off on this here. Now, this is a little bit more like commitment, right? But I find this is, this is kind of like my therapy too. 
It's my way of connecting with other people. You give me energy and then that I take that energy and I just project it, right? So I need you guys. I need you guys for this. So always keep that in mind, but consistency is key, man. For any of you watching right now, if there's one thing that I could say, it's consistency. You need to show up. You can't get discouraged about numbers and about, you know, how you look or, uh, you know, comparing yourself to others. You have to get rid of that. You have to, you must. All right. Uh, Derek, should I focus on value and content and developing my email list first over compensation? Yes, you absolutely should. Right. Like this right here that I'm doing right now. I don't know if this is going to be a good return on investment as far as money goes. Right. I don't know if there's people on here that are going to watch that are going to watch this now or three months from now and they're going to buy something. I don't know that I'm not tracking that. But what I do know is goodwill has always done very well for me. Right. So the more that I serve, the more that I'll receive and, and always not just money opportunities, doors that open, right? So again, make sure that you never focus on just the money side, right? You have to focus on the whole picture. Um, so yes. And Salama, thank you for showing up for us. No problem. I always enjoy this as you guys know. Uh, Mel, I must say that your coffee, y'all, timing has been on point. Awesome. Well, thank you. I'm glad that it has been. And this has been a great session and I get fired up guys. I'm fired up and it's a rainy day. I'm looking at, I'm looking at a lake, which is beautiful, but it's rainy, it's dreary, kind of nasty looking, but I'm at the lake. I'm grateful. I'm here. I'm here with you. This is a great day, right? We're alive. We have the opportunity right out there. All we got to do is go get it. We got to have this right. Okay. Just always think about what you're feeding this. It's so, so important. Um, and Mel says, I never intend on tuning in, but you're there at the right time with great motivating content. Well, Mel, that's why I'm here. Right. And, uh, I want to be able to, I, I want to be able to just be that spark, right? I want to be that. I, I'm not saying I have all the answers at all. I'm not saying I'm the expert at, at everything. I'm not. Um, but I will say this, uh, my goal is to just show up and give you the spark. If I can give you the spark, we can light the fire but we can't light the fire without the spark, right? So yeah, uh, and Mike says, can't take credit for the jukebox analogy. Heard that analogy of Joe Vitale. Okay, cool. Well, we'll give him credit then. I love it though. Uh, talk, not y'all, silly phone. <laughs> yeah, no problem now. All right, cool. All right, guys, so let me um, let me wrap up here. So um, Rock Your Brand Podcast, uh, dot com. If you go there, you can uh, you can enter our giveaway. We are doing a giveaway right now. I'm going to give away a year's uh, annual membership to Brand Creators Academy, which is currently closed. It won't be opening until July. Um, you're going to get a full year of that. Also, a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me, 30 minutes, and then also the recordings, a two and a half day uh, recordings of the Brand Accelerator Live 2019. Um, so we're going to do that. All you need to do is go to rockyourbrandpodcast.com and you can get all the details there. The other thing is some of you have been asking and uh, I wanted to throw this out there, brandcreators.com forward slash workshop. This is going to be a paid workshop. So again, like I said, I don't ever pitch anything on here, but this is a Pinterest workshop. It's going to be a pop-up workshop. We're calling it. We We have recorded, I say we, myself and my daughter, Alexis, who is my my Pinterest, um, you know, person that's doing that behind the scenes for our two brands. Um, she has taught a training inside of Brand Creators Academy. We've only taught it in there. I've decided to do a pop up workshop and we are going to start that on June 1st, but we're going to open enrollment on May 27th, which is next Wednesday. If you're interested, you can jump on the wait list, head over to brandcreators.com forward slash workshop. You can see all the details there. See if it's for you. I will say this, if you do not have a website yet, if you do not have a place to drive traffic, this is not for you. This is only for people that want to drive more traffic to your website, okay? I would not say this is for someone if they just have a product on Amazon, I would not get into the Pinterest game as of yet. I would like it for you to have a website, a home base that you would drive traffic to. And we've been seeing some really good steady results um, we're getting anywhere from 100 to 400 visitors per day 
um, from just Pinterest. Um, and so we basically break everything down, the strategy that we're using, we're, we're doing it in a couple of different phases. So actually it's going to be a live slash uh, recorded training. We're gonna do some live Q and A's and some reviews, but there's going to be pre-recorded trainings that you're going to go through and it's going to be over the course of two separate weeks. So again, if you're interested, brandcreators.com forward slash workshop, you can get all the details out over there. All right, guys, if you have any questions for me, uh, we are going to be doing another jam session here, which is going to be happening this Friday. So that's going to be a full jam session. That's where we're going to hang out. We're going to have coffee, but we're going to talk anything that you guys want to talk about as far as your business or mindset or your life, whatever. Uh, nothing is off limits. And that is what we call our Friday jam sessions uh, because we are Rock Your Brand podcast. So why not have a jam session, right? Um, so we're going to do that tomorrow, though. We're going to talk about lead magnets. So if you're interested in uh, developing a lead magnet that attracts the right people in your market, you're definitely going to want to hang out with us tomorrow and uh, you'll be able to see exactly what I have uh, planned for that. And we'll just talk more on lead magnets and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions about lead magnets tomorrow. All right. So guys, that is it. That is going to wrap it up. Have an awesome day. Cheers to an amazing day. And uh, if you have any questions, like I said, drop it in the comments. If you're on Facebook, Share it, like it, YouTube, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way there you get notified when we do these, these live uh, coffee talks. All right, guys, that's it. That's going to wrap it up. As always, take care, take action. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Now go rock your brand. See you guys.